Are the rules for foreigners still the same in 2023 as they were in previous years? Yes, they are. These conditions are mutable. They are always changing, but right now it's the same. It's the same from last time we talked. Uh, US passports, Canadian passports, British passports, and all European passports can buy from abroad uh, with a 20% uh, down payment. Okay. Okay. Uh, other passports, we, they will ask for 30%. But the main thing here, here is that you can buy a property uh, in two ways here. As a primary house, if you live here and you have what is most important, your in income is here in Portugal, mm -hmm. then you can apply for the 10, 20% down payment, depending on the appraisal, or you buy as a secondary house. Most of, most of my clients buy this way because they have income abroad. So okay. even if you're living here, but your income is abroad, the bank will, will put you in the in the secondary house okay? okay that's that's the rule right now so uh, u.s passports canadian passports and european passports can benefit of a 20 percent down payment okay okay so let me make sure i understand this i'm living in portugal but my income my income is from abroad so i would be in that second category i would not be in the the first category where if i have a portuguese job living here in portugal exactly ah, okay yeah the main difference here is is the source of income if, here, if it's here in Portugal, you can apply for a primary house. But look, the primary house is not an investment. You cannot rent this house, okay. at least formally. Okay. Uh, the secondary house, you can live in it, you can rent. If you are in the US, for example, mm -hmm. you, can, you can use it as an investment. Does that change the rates? No, no, absolutely the same. Just okay. the down payment will change. The ah. rest is exactly the same. Okay.